In this video, I'm going to explain how to reduce input delay on your gaming mouse via a few digital optimizations, such as having the correct mouse settings, drivers, and more, as well as via a few physical optimizations, such as lowering the weight of your mouse, using mouse grips, and using mouse gates, which when both combined will not only improve your aim significantly, but rather your gameplay overall, so it'll be next level. So if a video helps, be sure to like it and subscribe for more. Starting off on your desktop you want to right click the bottom left start menu and select settings inside here choose devices then choose mouse then at the top right click additional mouse options and ensure that you are using the default 6 out of 11 Windows Sense for more consistent mouse accuracy. On top of that, ensure that the enhanced point of precision is unchecked, as this is mouse acceleration and it will make your aim extremely inconsistent, so make sure that you are not using it by unchecking it. Next, you want to open up your game and mouse's software. Mine is Logitech, as you can see. Now, you'll see somewhere inside of here a sensitivity section. Um, inside it will be something called pollen rate or report rate. This setting right here basically determines how often your mouse reports back from your movements to your computer. So if you're using a higher pollen rate, you will have less mouse lag and your movements will be more precise. So in general, the higher you set this value, the less micro stutters you will get. I myself highly recommend using 1000 hertz. While inside your mouse software as well, be sure to use a high DPI if you can, like 800 DPI or above, as there's evidence that using a higher DPI can reduce latency. So choosing a higher DPI than 400 should make your aim more responsive and just way more accurate in general. If you want to convert your current DPI to a higher DPI, which is possible and you can maintain your exact sense, you can go ahead and do this as you can see on screen right here at GameSettings.com. Also make sure that your wireless mouse is always on above like 30% battery, because if it isn't, it'll enter something called a low power mode, which can cause a lot of weird stuff to happen as I've heard, such as input delay and even random shutoffs. As well as that, it's also important to avoid using RGB effects if you can, as researchers found that they add slight latency. You can see here it says running an RGB effect slash animation can take a great toll on the MCU. It requires a lot of processing power and will delay other processes. Just like when you play a game on extreme graphics, your CPU will get overloaded and significantly decrease your frames per second, so better turn off those RGB effects. In addition to that, they can also be slightly distracting too, where there's obviously bright lights, animation effects and all that, so turning them off could benefit you in other ways as well. Next, on your desktop you want to click on the start menu then type in device manager inside here open up the mouse and other pointer things then when you find your specific mouse it's normally the top one right click on it click on update driver and this will either show the most recent driver that you can obviously install or it'll tell you that you've got the most up-to-date one finally you want to head over to google and simply type in usb tree viewer don't worry it's free and safe to use uh, this will actually help you see all of your gaming peripherals like your mouse to see if they're plugged in correctly but once you've set it all up you'll see all these different usb controllers and basically what you want to do in here is make sure that all your latency sensitive devices such as your mouse keyboard all that are plugged into the best one and that one is the root hub which is part of the top if it's not part of the top you need to go over to your pc and make sure it's plugged into your motherboard as that is essentially your root hub it's normally found at the back of your pc moving on if you use a wired mouse you should really use a mouse bungee as they mitigate any dragging or snagging of your mouse cable on your desk it does this by lifting up the cable using an arm usually made from a spring which reduces the friction and drag from the cable on the surface of the desk and it will significantly improve your aim especially if again you are using a wide mouse if you're using a wireless mouse obviously you won't need that mouse bungee but what you will need to do is make sure you are using some type of receiver and make sure you've got it set up properly it's really important to keep it as close to the mouse as possible to actually reduce any sort of latency and keep it as low as possible but on top of that as well, make sure you've actually got it set up properly. Here's a photo on screen of how to actually correctly set it up. It's really important you do this. Another thing that many of you might not know is you can actually reduce the weight of your mouse by removing parts that won't affect the mouse in any way, like the magnetic cap underneath my mouse right here. You can see that if I go ahead and remove it, which is super simple, you literally just pull it off, 
You can see here that if I wear it and then compare it to having the magnetic cap on, you can see how much lighter my mouse is. And that overall, in my opinion, does improve my aim. I always aim better if my mouse is lighter. So the lighter you can get it, the better, or at least in my experience. I think that's a case for a lot of people, actually, because if you go on the mouse market right now, every mouse is, like, basically lightweight. You can also improve your aim in other ways, such as applying mouse skates to your mouse. Uh, this is another easy mod to improve your aim. You can see here that I myself have literally just took off mine. Um, using I think it was like this alcohol solution uh, with a scraper as well and then I apply these brand new ones these are hyperglides which are way better quality than the default ones you get with the mouse on top of that as well if you actually take a look at your mouse skates they might be proper run down from like all the use of using them and just not replacing them I really think it's important too to just replace your mouse skates like every six months or maybe to a year depending on how often you obviously use your mouse just to keep them in good shape because the worse shape they're in the more that will actually affect your aim negatively so make sure you have really nice fresh skates also another thing i like to apply is mouse grips these are literally little strips of like super grippy like tape if you like that you can apply to the side of your mouse you can see here i just cleaned the side of my mouse applied the sort of grip tape on the side literally just stick it on it's super super simple it's actually probably the most simple modification i've ever done but the result of this was pretty good like it significantly improved my aim as i just felt like i had more grip on the mouse as well if you've got super sweaty hands this can help um, like significantly I think that's why it helped me more so than the other mods it was more simple and the best one and it's really cheap to get some mouse grips online and I'm pretty sure these days every single mouse no matter what you have do supply some sort of mouse grips and they're pretty cheap like under ten dollars I think oh and as a final tweak this sort of merges the both together this is about monitor latency it's really important that you make sure you are using the highest refresh rate so what you want to do firstly is right click on your desktop you want to go into display settings then go into advanced display settings and make sure the hertz which is your monitor's hertz is set to the correct slash highest one you can also do this an alternative way if you have nvidia via right clicking on your desktop going into the nvidia settings then on the left hand side if you just follow these steps you'll see your monitor's hertz at the bottom there again make sure this is set to the highest one possible but that right there is how you easily reduce input delay on your game and mouse if a video helped out feel free to drop a like on it and subscribe for more videos like this one and finally be sure to check out any of my other videos on screen right now.